Hey everybody, Jody Marketplace Boutique. So today I have six bags of jewelry. I can't even say that with one hand, six bags. Six bags of jewelry, how fun is that? No, jewelry is one of those things that is easy to store, easy to list, easy to ship. It's like really, really easy. It's probably like the funnest thing for me to sell on eBay. It's so heavy, I can barely hold it anymore. So this came from Ella, which I'm sure most of you on the reseller community know of Ella. So Ella from Save Here First. I bought a big lot of goodies. I think she sent me some freebies. Thank you, Ella. Thank you. So if you're watching, I can't wait to open these up to see what's in here. It's really cold outside here in Michigan. So this is the perfect time to sift through some jewelry, list a bunch of goodies. And I always love a mystery. This looks good, everybody. This looks great. Okay, I'm super excited. So here are six eggs. I'm probably a little bit insane for opening this because I'm like midstream doing like an estate lot and then a jury and then a Goodwill and also a flea market. So I'm kind of like making some sets is what I'm doing to sell a lot of them as bundles, which is actually pretty fun. The nicer stuff I list separately. So here is what I bought from Miss Ella, who is always awesome. Now, I don't remember buying this one. And I think she threw this one in as a gift. It was really nice of her. Maybe she threw this one in too, I'm not sure. Oh, I can't wait. Like, I have been just itching to get into this. I just cannot wait. And the good thing about, see if I can scoot in a little bit here, buying them from like a YouTube person is most of the time they're not going to be as tangled up as you would get in a Goodwill box or anything like that. The Goodwill boxes, if you've ever seen any of my videos, are just wretchedly horrible usually to try to untangle. So, Ella has done the work for us. That's the way we got here. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, this is really cool. So this is a pendant and you can hang it right here on a little chain. I should really put like all my chains together because I have so many of them and then I could just put a chain on these pendants. This is awesome. I love this. Isn't that cute? It's got all these little like minty green beads, um, a faceted acrylic. It has a really nice back. Whimsical Wishes, brand new tags, necklace. Now any new tags, anything usually sells pretty good on eBay. Oh, that's cute. Look at that for fall. That's really cute. Ooh, I keep buying this one. This is nice. Ella, this is awesome. Ooh, if you're watching, I'm excited about this one. So this is a vintage brooch, and it's got kind of like a mirrored back. It's, let's see. Now, I do have this. This is a magnet you can use to see if it's gold or silver. And then I have a loop also. And here's the loop I use. Um, so you can kind of see like if there's any name brands and I don't see any on this one. This is super cute. I don't think this is really old. That to me looks like probably 60s, 70s just by the design of it. Although there's been kind of a, a revival of the 70s. So this could actually be a little bit newer than that too. And I'm thinking it might be just because of the way area is. So that might be kind of like a revival of the 70s. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Espana, I think it says. Uh, always when you get these kind of pens, make sure that you look underneath because if they're gold tone, a lot of them are actually like 14 or 18 karat gold. So sometimes 10 karat, especially those vintage items. So you just want to make sure you're looking under here and looking all around. 
And these do sell really well on eBay, believe it or not. And a lot of times if you go somewhere like a garage sale, estate sale, or any other flea market or anything, you can find these for like a bag of them. I just paid a dollar for a bag and I pulled up all kinds of really good stuff out of there. Ooh, these are super cute. Ooh, I like earrings like this. These might have to go straight into my key pile. My key pile has become a keep drawer, honestly. <laughs> Oh, those are so, so, okay, yep, I'm gonna keep those. Sorry, sorry, everybody. Okay, I just call that my fee when I keep something. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll keep it for a while too and then relist it, so. That actually matches with my Cuddle Duds outfit today. I'm always happy when I have my Cuddle Duds on. This is cute. Um, it's kind of got like a faux leather and, um, a metal look that's that's cute if you have like a matching outfit like today I have that that'd be cute okay let's see let's see oh I love these oh these are nice now this is just a really pretty circular kind of brushed gold tone so there's a slight pull I mean who knows this could be like even like a gold overlay. I don't know. And I don't usually test a lot of my stuff, but hey, if somebody can get a good deal, I'm okay with that. Um, this is really, really pretty. I like that one. Very vintagey, elegant. This is, you know, I have to say, I know this looks really small and everything, and a lot of people you wouldn't believe pass these by. But can you imagine, like, if you bought a box of these or a bag of these, how much money you can actually make out of just little tiny pens? So this looks like Partridge Fellowship, I think it says. And then it has the word Jacob on the back. And it says something like Yulrich or something. I don't know what that is. Some kind of name brand, I guess. Now, Jacob's going to be kind of hard to style. I'm going to list that one super cheap. It's probably to, like, a church event or something. Oh, here's another one. These make me so happy. I just love them. They're interesting. Okay, so this says North Star. And there is writing. This is PD2000. So that's what that says on the back. Okay, and here's some really cute earrings. Look at those. Oh, those are darling. Ooh, here's a little locket. So here's a locket. Well, it looks like a locket. I don't know if it is, but this is a pendant. I don't know, I have nails. It looks like a pendant, so I need some help. Somebody please help me. <laughs> I think it is a pendant, it's moving. Everybody, it's moving. Oh, what's in there, what's in there? Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, there's no picture. Oh, there is a picture, yay, yay. Look at that. Okay, what is this? This is like a Catholic thing. Oh, that is cute. Oh, it says pray for us. You know, I am not Catholic, but I love Catholic items and Catholic like replicas and stuff like that. I don't know why. I just think it's so interesting. I don't know. They just make me feel happy. So that's a little bit of happiness. That's cute. Isn't that awesome? That is so cute. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, this is nice. Okay, it might just look normal, but this is actually really nice. I think these are glass. A glass, like faux pearl necklace. Oh, cute. That's really cute. That's very nice. Look at this. So here's like some big chunky acrylic beaded necklace. You've got some gold medallions, faux gold of course, and some other strands. That's definitely different, isn't it? Did somebody add that? No, it looks like that's part of it. Oh, that's cool. It's just like a, a chunky little necklace. This is an awesome statement piece. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Ella, this is gorgeous if you're watching this. Oh, that's really pretty. Isn't that cool? No, it doesn't have any name brand, but this is totally adjustable because you've got this really pretty ribbon and it's kind of that nice like gross green. Okay. Ooh, 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 that's pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, so this says SH on one side and on the other side that says Avon. I'm pretty sure this is like the 1980s, although they didn't have a lot of silver tone, I don't think, back then, but maybe, maybe they did. Um, this style of the necklace definitely reminds me of the 80s, though. Okay, so then we got some rope thingies. We've got like one of these silver tone bracelets. We got, and then this one, I'll just let the, these two up. This is cool. Ooh. Is that a stone? Boy. I almost think that's actual. <laughs> that's actually a stone, I think. Oh, that's neat. A handcrafted gold tone wired. Oh, gosh, it looks like an agate, like a colored agate. Oh, that is cool. I don't think it'd probably fit my wrist, but that is neat. This would actually look really cool. Even if you had two of these, you could put like your drapes through it and then like tie it off. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know why I just thought of that, but that would look cool. Here are some stud little earrings and a beautiful necklace. Ooh, I like the color of that. And then some dangly bets. Okay. Here, oh good, some more pens. I love these things. I'm so glad she sent these to me. <laughs> she probably has no idea that I really love these. Okay, so this is, uh, let's see, 10987 Ski the Peaks of Wrecking Ridge, Colorado. That's cool, you know, a great souvenir. This is the National D-Day Memorial. Okay, in Canada. That's neat. Here's a little itty bitty ring. Oh, and it almost fits everybody. It almost fits. That's cute. Look how precious that is. I'll definitely lot that up. I'm sure it's it's not real. I would hope that it's not real. I mean, I do, but I don't because yeah. So that that's gonna be really cute to lot up. And then, okay, so this one, I'm just gonna open this one back up and then connect it like that. And that should be good to go because that's how the rest of them are. So it just came loose a little bit. Ooh, big number two. I'm sure, like, I'm probably way more excited than anybody watching because oh, I just can't stand it. I love a good mystery. Oh, you guys, look at this. That is beautiful. Here's, like, a beautiful rhinestone faceted cut with a cream enamel flower on the side. Lobster claw, claw class. Oh, boy, I try to say that one. It's really nicely finished on the back side, too. Oh, that is beautiful. I might just have to hang this up. I thought about even getting a board just to hang up all these really pretty items on. Woo. So here's another one of those wired things. These have got to be like the coolest looking bracelets ever. These are really, really neat. And definitely handcrafted. Okay, so here is a copper pin. Um, if you find copper out there in the wild, pick it up. Like, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> if I give you one tip, pick up the copper jewelry. It sells so well. I have never yet, I don't think that I can remember, ever sold any copper piece for under 50. So definitely pick up those copper items. This is cute. It's kind of like an art to wear. Darling, really darling. This is nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep these for myself probably for a while. Ooh, here's a nice chunky one. I love big statement necklaces. 
so what do you prefer? Tell me, do you like the dainty stuff or the big stuff? I think I like both of them. So this is a nice big necklace. Um, it's like a big faux pearl. It's got kind of an earth tone, dalian kind of pieces here. Really cute. Okay, so here's one of these really strange necklaces. And I have been getting so many of these and the bracelets. More of the bracelets. I don't think I've seen the necklace. I'm not sure. Um, this is, if you ever find these, these are interesting. Okay. So these, when you look at them, I think they're made of paper. And like they have some sort of wax or something over them. They're really, really cool when you take a loop and actually look at them. These are actually like a handcrafted item. They're really neat. It's almost like a, a woven piece of paper. It's cool. And I do have some other pieces. I might put like an art to wear um, lot up. Now let's see what this says. Okay, so this just says best life on it. That's really cool. Ooh, now that's a keeper for me. This is just a stretch faux pearl champagne color beaded bracelet. Ooh, look at this one. Here is an abalone shell colored bracelet. That's cool. That's really neat. Whoops. Oh, I don't know. There we go. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That just looks really elegant. That's nice. Okay. Oh, here's uh, here's a necklace for a fancy night on the town. Look at how beautiful this is. Ooh, that is cool. That is like really nice. And then there's like a little, like a faux diamond right here. Now that's interesting. That's right there. It's almost like a little pendant attached to, to that. That's strange. Huh. That's interesting how that's right there like that. It's almost like this was added on later. I might have to test that to see what that is. Okay, so here's just like some some little black earrings. I'm gonna put those in a lot. Uh, here's a shell. Now there is a name for this kind of shell and it's got kind of a waxy texture on the outside and these are actually real pearls. That's really cute. I like how they actually coated this. That's neat. Okay, so here's some what looks like, um, I would say these are 80s earrings. And I'm going to see if I have more like that and lock those up. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. This is a Patriot Transport. Um, this is a company advertising button. And you can, if you have a store, you can actually list these under collectibles advertising and that's free. Here is a little ring, and it looks like it has kind of a copper accent. Oh, Ella, I hope you're not sending me diamonds. That would be cool, though, wouldn't it? That's actually, like, a really nice ring. Hmm. Here is another one of those, and I'm just going to do a listing with this and then put quantity of two or whatever. Here is the Ice Hawks pin. Cute. That's really cute. Another one of those gold tone ones. You just want to make sure there's that they're not gold. A lot of them that I've picked up are. Especially like the religious ones or the really old Masonic ones are oftentimes gold. Okay, let's see what we got. Here's just a really nice like um I think you would call this a box chain or maybe an, a small omega chain. This I don't think is gold because I can kind of see maybe that is wearing off a little bit. Okay, so that's just like a gold kind of necklace. I'm going to put that in a lot. 
here is one of those um, rope kind of beachy vibes and this one seems to be pretty clean so I'm going to put this in a lot. Now here's a definite like 60s, 70s um, rope chain necklace. A lot of times they came with a pendant like this and you could wear it like that because you know the 70s were definitely extra gaudy so I wouldn't even be surprised if, it, well, it, it's kind of like off color, but um, a lot of times they came with us and they would have like a little pin and a loop like that and you can do either or. So yeah, that's, the, these things sell really well on eBay, so. Ooh, pretty. Here is a little a brooch, and it's kind of got like a topaz look and some other color. Oh, that's, look at this little ring. That's really cute. Oh, that's cute. really, really darling. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It looks like a little, like, oh, it's like a little flower, I think. Yeah, like a little flower, maybe a little heart. That's cute. That's actually really heavy. Here are like some fan type earrings. These have rhinestones, post bags. Really, really cute. That's elegant, very nice. Oh, do I need all the earrings? Maybe, this one's a cute one. I can totally see myself wearing this. <laughs> Those are real cute. Okay, so here's another rope type. I Sometimes I don't usually keep these, but these are actually really in nice condition. So I'm going to put this in a lot. Here is a stretch beaded. This one looks a little cheaper, so I'm going to lot that one up. Okay, so what do we have here? These, they, This looks really interesting. Okay, so this is like a religious... Uh, Philippines 413 and then there's like a little verse that's cute like a little tablet style that's adorable and religious items do sell pretty good on eBay okay we have two pens we have God and me I'm gonna have to use the Google lens on that to figure out what that's for advanced cardiac life support on this one okay so this is 1977 and actually this is in super super good condition considering how old it actually it's as old as i am okay but so it's not that old <laughs> okay and i don't remember buying these <laughs> i don't remember buying these i don't know if she maybe she just threw these in i'm not sure I'm not sure. Maybe I did buy them and just don't remember. These are so fun. I have sold so many earrings just like this. Believe it or not. And actually this pair is a lot nicer than the ones I had. These sell really well. Like party neck, party earrings, New Year's earrings, you know, some keywords. Okay, these are super cute. Look at that. Some great like huggy style hoop earrings. Ooh, these are fun. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is like a wire. This is cool. I don't know why I like this so much, but these, are, I've actually never seen anything like this, and this is like really neat. Okay, are these all earrings? I think they might all be earrings. Let's see what we got. Oh, here's another one of those colors like that necklace I have. Ooh, these are cute. I'm going to keep those for myself. Just move those over here. <laughs> okay, so here's some like acrylic turquoise looking ones. Um, some more hoops. These are kind of cute. Let's look at these a minute. Well, they hang like this. And they dangle. That's cute. Um, these, I think, are actual turquoise. Pretty sure. Yeah, these are turquoise earrings. Now, I don't know. They might be man-made. Is there a man-made turquoise? I'm not sure, actually. But these are not acrylic. 
they're an actual like stone those are so pretty oh i need to keep those too we'll just move those to the side <laughs> oh some black ones those are cool and then we got some um it looks like a tiger's eye in there Ooh, these are neat Okay, what's going on? The nice thing is she actually lotted them all up. That was so nice, Ella. Okay, and then we've got some green. We have an abalone shell fish. Oh, this is neat. Look at this one. Look at that. Oh, now that is cool. I, I haven't ever seen anything like this either. Now, I love this. I don't know. It might drive me nuts. It's kind of like you're walking around. Okay, so that's what we got here. Oh, these are pretty. Look at this. Oh. Oh. They're not magnetic either. Now, I don't think this is a real, like, heavy duty. Those are actually really nice. Now, I might have to keep those too. Ooh, Ella, that's so exciting. Okay, so here is bag number three. And actually, I think I'm just going to reuse those bags and list stuff and put a number on them. Ooh, that's pretty. It's for a party. That's really nice. You could wear like a velvet dress for the holidays with some pretty pearls. an acrylic oh this is a fun statement one. Oh, and look at this one it's like an iridescent some faceted some fun that's a cool one that's definitely like cool girl goes into the city oh look at this one <gasps> that's so much fun here's another rope one lighting that up a ring you know there's so many like interesting little um wire kind of things in here Ooh, here's one of those kind of you know those delicate chain faux pearl this is perfect with that fall outfit and then we've got um a flag that's cute Here's another one of those. Oh, this is kind of interesting. What is that? I am not sure what this is. It's like got a cross and then there's a man. It's, it does say something, but it's hard to tell what it is. Does this say something? So this says my saint, my hero on it. So maybe it's another one of those Catholic things. Oh, here's another little cute brooch, kind of like the one before. It's kind of a newer thing. That's that's cute. This looks like a paparazzi. It's got like the stretchy thing, and it's, so it's like you can universally just wear it. That'd be cool. I do have a bunch of these. I'm gonna try to find all of my ear my rings like this and lot them up. Um, I seem to have a lot of them. So that's good. I have another one. Okay. So here is the prostate cancer awareness pen. So here is a pair of fun little angel wing earrings. Here is a pendant. Now this is one of those religious things I'm talking about. Um, keep your eye out for these. Uh, a lot of times they are gold or silver. Okay, so this says 1830 on it, but I'm sure it's not that old. I'm sure this is, you know, maybe some kind of reproduction. It doesn't look that old because it's it's in really good condition. See if I have some kind of a necklace to put this through. That would be super fun. Okay, so here's some earrings and another one of these kind of beachy vibes. Twines. Oh. Oh. Or someone special. 
This reminds me <laughs> of like cocoons hanging on a tree. <laughs> We're definitely going to be selling those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this is USS Arizona Memorial. Okay. To 2001 Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. So this is a vintage pen. Neat. Oh, here's another one of those twiny things. Somebody's been busy making these. And they're like real stones, too. Neat. Here is a something life member. Let's see. May 1861. SCD, I think it says. Made in the USA. I don't know. Is it that old? I doubt it's that old. But that's neat. Okay, we got some earrings, some little huggy earrings. We've got some of these. Those are pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, and here is like a rhinestone necklace. Here is... What is this? Oh, this is interesting. This is a big... Chunky. Look at that. That is cool, right? That is really neat. Here is a copper pendant, or not pendant. This is a pin. Park International on the back. And this is copper on the front. Okay, and then we have like, it looks like a little, what is that? A C? A little initial that says, um, this would be really neat if you want to do like a charm. I see a lot of these with charms on them and that's probably where this came from. And you can actually load your bracelet with charms. Another beachy. And these I'm pretty sure were a gift and that was so sweet. That was nice. Look at these. That's cool. Thank you, Ella. That's nice. I'm going to lot off the doggy ones or the kitty animal prints. This is cool, too. And I'm going to sell those. Thank you, Ella. Thank you so much. Okay, and here's the last baggie. Oh, I see some more pins, so I'm excited about that. Ooh, I love color. Look how fun that is. That's fun for um, for summertime, you know, having those colors that you always wear or you have a cute little bathing suit. Here's an abalone shell. Oh, this, it's like another one. This is kind of a brass on the inside. Oh, neat. Lieutenant Commander. Oh, this is nice. Ella, I'm surprised you didn't sell this yourself. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's neat. A Confederate Veteran, 1896. Okay, son of the Confederate Veterans. Very, very nice. Oh, that's really nice. I was going to apply it to be in the, I think it's the Daughters of the Revolution. That is a really neat piece. I've actually never seen that. Um, Lieutenant Commander, that's cool. That's neat. I think I'll even get this listed tonight. I just, I love history. I love military stuff. Here's a little bunny rabbit. This looks like it's straight out of like the early 90s. Cute little pet. Animal pins sell really well on eBay. Okay, a little bracelet. Uh, kind of a full leather strap wrap. So here is an orange statement bead. Ooh, like a swirl. Okay, so this is a really pretty, this is just elegant. 
gold tone swirl intertwining eternity circle. You know, you could use keywords like that. Okay, and here is a, what is this? Oh, it's like a little angel pen. That's cute, like if somebody's lost someone, or um, I actually volunteer for Find a Grave, and sometimes I like to leave little things, or if you're visiting a relative's grave and there's a baby that had passed or something, you could leave a little one of these there. Isn't that sweet? I'd probably do something like that with that one. Here is a little brooch, kind of like those other two, real cute. Okay, and then we've got, oh, these are, I really like those. Those are pretty. And then um, another little angel pen. That's great for a little lapel. We have a, another lapel. And this is the Homestead 1976. Okay, this one is gold plated. Actually, the Homestead 19, 1766. Oh boy, I think I need some coffee. Okay, white, um, probably 80s, maybe, maybe sooner. Okay, the, here's some cute little turtles lotting this up. I'm actually collecting stuff for a red lot, so we'll put that in there. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm going to have to keep that one for myself. This is pretty. I love this one. Now, this is just fun because it's so shiny and there's a little bit of blue on there. Here are some cute little thingies. Those are going to crafts. I need to start putting my craft lots up. I think I might do like an auction craft lot and get rid of some of this stuff. And then we have this really cute little necklace. That's nice. That's actually like a good heavier one. We have some earrings and some another little angel pen. Oh, now these are pretty. Those are a keeper. We're going to move this to the keep pile. <laughs> pretty. Look at this one. That's pretty. It's actually, these feel like real beads. That's, I like that. I love like the little beaded um, stations on that. Here's the other matching earring, and then we have a little, oh, that's cute, a little locket. Teaching is a work of heart. Okay, so this is for a teacher. Okay, and then they had put thanks on the other side, and they actually had it engraved for a teacher, and then they put some initials on the back. Wow, that was a really nice gift somebody did for somebody. Can you imagine? I tried to get nice gifts, but I never gave nice gifts like this. Let's try to open it. Maybe their faces are in here. Wouldn't that be funny? Now, if I have to get a hammer and make this work, I will. Oh, no way. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so there's like a little mom and a baby in there. That's cute. Oh, no, that's precious. Wow, that was like super, that was a really, really nice gift. I can't imagine kids actually giving their teachers something like that. That was really nice. Wow, that was a really, really good gift. So I'll just leave it with that. Okay, everybody, well, hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you found any really good, cool things lately, or if you have any tips and tricks on selling jewelry. I'd love to hear it. Bye everybody. Have a really awesome day.